All right, so the purpose of this video, hey everybody, uh, Quincy here. Uh, I'm just going to uh, do a demo of getting direct sound out of uh, your mixer into uh, your iPhone device uh, using an iRig. I have an iRig 2 with the little adapter that goes into the end of the plug, and I'll show some of that uh, later, but my main point is is that you can get quality or decent quality sound coming into your phone just through a mixer, no external speakers whatsoever, just guitar going direct in from a pedal that I have. I'm using the Donner Alpha Force multi effects pedal. It has delay, it has chorus, and it has high gain. Uh, the high gain I'm not really using for this, but it's just one pedal with three buttons on it, I'll put a picture in the video so you know what it is somewhere up over here or over here somewhere so you know what I'm talking about. You can still find those on Reverb.com, um, uh, Alpha Force, Donner Alpha Force, look that up. Uh, you might even be able to find it on Amazon, I'm sure. Uh, I'll try to post some links there. Anyways, it's a basic, simple pedal for you have delay, you have uh, chorus, and you have high gain. I'm not going to use the high gain in this video. The guitar is going direct in to this little mixer right here. Um, hopefully you can see that. Uh, it's just a little, uh, it's the Xenix QX1202 USB made by Behringer. Uh, so it's not a real expensive mixer. Matter of fact, I think they have a version 2 now, which is a little bit more, it has a, has a, has a digital uh, um, display up here so that you can do a few more things with it but basically the same mixer it's very simple it's very simple it's got 12 inputs total but you've got four xlr inputs and each one one I, thing i really like about this mixer is each one of these that have the xlr inputs have a, comp a single knob compressor control so that adds some compression i have compression on here right now you can hear as i increase it that's what it does it, it kind of brightens it, it crunches it a little bit, but I'm going to put it back about halfway to where I had it. And you can adjust the the amount of um, EQ in any way. You've got high, you got high, you got mids, and you got lows. All right, and then you have a low cut. You also have your effects uh, knob right here. I know you really can't see this right here, but I, my, that's really not the point. The point is you can get a decent sound into your phone without an external speaker, without too much hassle. Now keep in mind, you gotta have a microphone, a condenser microphone, and I'm gonna keep it about this far away from my face. Some people don't like that in the picture, but actually it looks kinda cool in my opinion when I see guys doing videos and you can actually see a little bit of the mic, it's kinda cool. So anyways, uh, you can effects, you've got multi effects on here, so everything you need for your vocal and your guitar if you want, but also keep in mind, the effect that you use for one is going to be the same effect that can be applied to any one of the channels. So you can't, what I'm saying is you can't use a different effect for a different channel. So whatever you have selected here is the one you're going to use across the board. If you want a different effect for like your guitar, you use a pedal, which is why I'm using the Alpha Force. So that I can get a different effect for my guitar than what the board offers and so that I can get a different effect for my vocal from what my guitar has. It's that simple. And I'm going direct out of the Alpha Force, uh, Donner Alpha Force pedal, which is a very affordable pedal. It's cheap, man, but it sounds okay. So here we go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a song, but here you go. I want you to select your effects. I have a multi-effects, sorry for all the rambling. I have a multi-effect selected, which is delay and reverb. And I'm gonna turn it up here, watch. Check, 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 check. So you get reverb, and you get some delay, and you can go way crazy with it, or you can bring it way down to where it's not real heavy, and it's just there a little. So I will turn it about halfway, or maybe 11 o'clock. And let's just see, it also has, this mixer has uh, phantom power, which you need for a condenser microphone. And you don't have to buy a real high-end microphone. This condenser microphone, large diaphragm microphone, is the King B made by Neat Microphones, $149. It was new 
uh, I paid for it. They make a version two now, which is somewhere out in the same neighborhood, maybe 169, NEAT, N-E-A-T. Look for the King B uh, condenser microphone. They're, this one's kind of big and bulky. I think that's why they changed the model, but I like it because it's kitschy. I like it. It's like it's painted like a bee. Love it. Anyways, so the microphone doesn't have to be really high end. Just a condenser. Look at the reviews. Do your homework. Do your research. Find one that is affordable but sounds decent. There's a million YouTube videos on this. So let's get to it. Guitar is direct in. Now, any reverb you're hearing right now is coming from here through the mic. So watch this. So here it is without anything. Now, the Donner pedal. Watch this. You can't see it. I'm sorry, but I just don't have a... a I'm not that good at editing. Watch this. Okay. Delay. Okay, and you, you've got three controls. You've got your level, overall level of how much delay you want. Sorry, you have your feedback, which is how often you want it to repeat. And then you have the actual delay time, which you can make it short, close to the original, or further out. I won't change that right now. Then you have chorus. Here's chorus. I'm going to use this. I love that chorus. It's a nice sound. Um, and with that, you have a level. So the amount. You have the rate, so the speed of the, of the chorusing. And then you have your depth, how much you want to. Woo, 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 woo. But I've got it kind of set in the middle all the way across. Off. On. I'm going to use a delay and a chorus along with my vocal doing a little bit of delay and, and reverb. Here it goes. Let's just give this a try. No outboard speakers at all, nothing going live in the room, just this one microphone, this guitar into one pedal into that little mixer to make an easy setup into a iRig right into your phone. Direct sound. Here we go. Turn the guitar down a little bit. Next verse. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no Oh, 
Okay, kids, so that's it. Um, the total investment that I have here for these things that I mentioned, excluding the guitar, microphone, about $149. The Behringer uh, mixer, and I'll put the name in the description and the model, about 160 bucks ish the Donner Alpha Force pedal about a hundred dollars or less I think I paid like seventy dollars I bought it used and you can find those on reverb still simple pedal simple mic and affordable mixer the rest is up to you man uh, it's easy uh, to do I know it seems like a lot but hey you know, it can be done on a low budget or a reasonable budget, I guess I would say. So, you know, three, 350, you know, you're going to have a setup that you can do this if you have your instrument already. And I know if you're watching this, you already have your instrument. You probably already have this mic or a mic like it. So, hey, kids, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Hey, do me a favor. Give me a like, maybe a subscribe. Hey, share this video with somebody, maybe on your Facebook page or whatever. I'd appreciate it. So thanks a lot. God bless.